here's an interesting thing. So, like, there's always been this conspiracy about, like, one world order kind of shit, where basically the government will take, like, more... They'll slowly take more and more and more control, and then eventually it'll be kind of like the EU, where, like, all... Go like, you know, because we have... Um, what's the what's the um, thing where it's, like, the... the I can't even think of what I'm saying. The United Nations. Yeah. You know, where like you have the night. What if the United Nations decided, you know what? We're all just all going to combine and we're going to have one set of rules across everywhere. And, you know, we're all going to get adopt like the same a, money. Like a, like a single government. We're all going to adopt single... the same money. We're all going to speak the same language. We're all going to assimilate. And then eventually, you know, it's, is it's that a bad thing though. No, 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 no. I mean, it, 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 it is because here's, here's why it's kind of like, like with, if all money was the same and if it was all quote unquote, like, a single government. I don't think. Obviously, I think every no, 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 every country needs to have their own leaders. It's the same reason. It's the same. It's the same idea behind a monopoly. If you have uh, a monopoly, yeah. it's bad. You True. need competition. You True. need True. another currency to offset the currency because if there's only one currency, the value of it becomes arbitrary because there's nothing to compare it to. I mean, but that's what the U.S. is doing with dollars right now. They're just printing off money. But doesn't but the, mean but anything. No, but exactly. But then there's other currencies that we can trade against that we can show why the dollar is declining but or then, inclining. But then there's like the Aussie dollar, which is like worth 13 cents or some shit right okay, now. Okay, but, but that's not yeah. the point that I'm making. The point that I'm making is what, like, for example, right now, a lot of places are doing cashless because of the spread of COVID-19. Yep. So if you have germs on money we know that money are hot spot money is a hot spot for germs because it's literally being spread by your hands it's fucking disgusting and it's covered in germs like if you count money or something you don't want to be touching your face right after so the thing is a lot of places are going cashless a lot of people start to get really weird about it because they're like yo trust me we don't want to go to a cashless society which i agree we do not want to go to a cashless society unless it's backed by it's something all, like bitcoin it's all traceable we we it, the, the, there's many reasons why you don't want to go 100% cashless society, but one I mean, of the I've biggest. I've been cashless for 10 years. You me know, too. Like, but for example, you will never be able to uh, just hand someone a tip or something. Like, there's always going to be a, a traceable way. You can't just hand or like your, a fee your or a grandson a yeah. hundred dollars and just so go, I, go I read, have fun. You I, read, know? Like, I read that Dave Ramsey post too. There's a lot of things. <laughs> it's that, like 99 reasons why a cashless system is terrifying, and it like goes down the but list. But it really is terrifying. And I remember reading them and thinking. That, that doesn't sound that scary. It's it's not that <laughs> we scary. Get, we can get away. It, 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 whatever. The thing is, is it's not scary if we trust the government, and we don't. We don't. It's only not that's scary why, if that's we why don't. I like the but idea the, of, the, a, the of whole a Bitcoin. It's but, it's it's but, okay, it's, but that's not, this, it's decentralized. This isn't really the point I'm trying to make. The point I'm trying to make is if we're seeing this this trend, people are going, "Oh, look." Everyone's going cashless, and we're soon going to realize that what's the point of cash? Why do we need to have cash? And then eventually, maybe this will lead to us not having cash, which is going to lead to the government having more control over our lives and more control over my finances and knowing what I'm doing in private and secret and blah, 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 blah. And like, it's just one other way that they're encroaching on our liberties. You know, like, for example, the whole mask thing. A lot of people look at it as a, as a, a an encroachment on the liberties we of a human. We have this thing called you a social force security me to wear. number. They have our address. They a birth But they're not forcing you to do anything with that. But I'm just saying... They have all of our information. It's like, I don't want the government controlling me. It's like, bro, the government no, knows more about you than anyone. But if, I, but if I hand you $5, they don't know that. But if I send you a $5 on Venmo, they could trace that and they could say, you didn't pay taxes on that $5 that you, that's income that Richard needed to pay. Like, blah, 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 blah. You know, Kill me. Because yeah, tax, right. I mean, whether you believe this or not, like some people are like taxation is theft kind of shit, which I mean, uh, I vibe it kind with of that. is. Like the I government vibe, should figure out a way, that, the but, government should figure out a way to make money on its own. Like the fact that it just exists and only like there's, 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 I mean, this is a huge rabbit hole, but basically it's like, if you want to... Uh, go down the path of conspiracies right now is a great time for it because there's just so many weird things happening and you can not trace a, it back. Not a, not a great time. You might so, lose your fucking mind and end up in a that's, psych That's ward. what I mean. Is like, it's, a it's, terrible a, it's a terrible time. time to go down it. Do it I mean, it's, it. it's a good time for conspiracies to start. Like it's a, yeah. it's a great time where, when conspiracies start. And we're because, also in the age of misinformation. We're also coming up on an election where other countries are intentionally injecting misinformation into our systems to cause more distrust and more chaos. And alternative facts. That's yes. a hilarious. Um, uh, you mean lies? Cool. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, Hope you enjoyed that clip. If you'd like to see the full episode, click right here. If you'd like to subscribe, click here. If you'd like more clips, we got two more right over here. <laughs>